What's up guys, let's bow in for class. Today's video is an in-depth look at Butterfly Guard. We'll be looking at key details of butterfly sweeps, various options you have from different positions like arm drags, overhooks, underhooks, and more, entries into other positions as well as entries into Butterfly Guard, plus submissions and more. You should watch this if you do jiu-jitsu or are planning on starting. So we'll start off with the tried and true traditional butterfly sweep and all the details that make it a success. You do not want to be on your back as your legs will have no power. Instead, we want to be on our butt, creating a 90 degree angle with our partner and directing our partner's shoulder to the mat. Our partner's hands will act as posts to stop us from getting the sweep, which is why it's important to pull their arm to our body so they can't post out. Either the tricep or the wrist will be optimal, I prefer the tricep. I like to get my underhook as deep as it can get with my shoulder underneath the armpit. It's very hard to sweep someone who has their butt on their heels. We need to bring their butt off their heels by connecting ourselves with the underhook. When our bodies are connected, she will go where I go. Our one butterfly hook will go from a frame on the leg to centered so we can push off the mat. The majority of the power comes from pushing off the mat with our foot. The other foot lifts. You can see I'm blocking the frame by grabbing the tricep and directing Nikki's shoulder to the mat and coming up on top with my knees pointed towards the mat. Look again how I push off the mat with my one foot and lift with the other. I get that deep underhook, block the tricep, and lift. This time, as I finish the sweep, I pass with the knee slide. One more time before we move on and look at all those details. Because we have the arm blocked, our partner can only really post out with their leg, which is still difficult. I always say if there's something in the way, we must address it. In this case, we're putting our foot above the knee with a slight kick forward, very similar to a scissor sweep. You know I love slow motion, so let's see it in half the speed. Nikki posts with her leg, I block above the knee and direct my knees towards the mat. When our partner has their arm posted firmly on the mat, it can be difficult to pull across our body because the mat is in the way. I like to use my head to lift theirs up. This will give you that space to where the mat is no longer in the way. You can pull the arm across your body, taking the post out of the equation. Alright, really quick guys, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Jordan and I'm a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. I make educational and highly informative videos with my wife Nikki that teach you how to grapple, not just individual techniques. We work really hard on these, so consider subscribing if you haven't already. A really cool and effective sweep you can do off the underhook is the elbow sweep. It has many different names like cool Japanese names you might hear from guys like Gordon Ryan, but I just call it the elbow sweep. We want to get a gable grip with our hands and direct our partner's face towards the mat using our flared elbow. Where the head goes, the body must follow. Notice how I bring my hips forward and fall to my back? This is going to help with momentum. Nikki can't post with her arm because the gable grip on her shoulder is preventing her from being able to move her arm freely. This is the most powerful sweep from Butterfly Guard in my opinion. Double underhooks are great but difficult to sweep with because your partner can post on either side easily if they try. They are great for X-guard entries though. We want to rock back and lift our partner's hips into the air, catching a leg with our arm and forcing our partner's weight off of us with the other by pushing them away with our hand on the tricep. One foot in front of the hip and the other behind the knee and we can now proceed with some X-guard sweeps. Let's see again from the opposite angle. I rock Nikki forward, catch the leg, and insert my last hook as I push the tricep. I let her posture up, and as she does, I use momentum against her in this classic X-guard sweep. As I come up, I control the leg so she can't get back up. Another great technique from the double underhooks is the backbreaker. A great way to not make friends, but a pretty sweet submission nonetheless. We want to extend our partner away with our legs and clamp down with our gable grip, putting a ton of pressure on the spine. An easy way out is just to tap. Now let's look at the overhook. We want to make extra sure we aren't put on our back because it would result in our partner having a good passing grip on us. If we remain on our butt and on our side, it's no problem and a much easier grip to get than the underhook. The sweep itself is the same. An overhook is just a grip that attaches our bodies together. So where I go, Nikki goes, just like the underhook. You can grab a quick triangle when their hand is posted on the mat. Just grab the wrist and bring your leg over their arm. With the head and arm grip, we can hit the same traditional sweep as before. We fight for grips, and once I secure what I need, I scoot my hips forward, directing Nikki over her shoulder. Poor Nikki. Give us a like or comment for all the views Nikki endures. Tried and true and highly effective is the arm drag from Butterfly Guard, great for taking backs and more. Notice how I take my foot out before I drag? This makes it so I don't have to worry about it getting stuck and immobilize me. Here it's stuck and I can't really move, but when I readjust myself and I do it again, now I take it out and it's no problem. We must always grip fight first. Once I have control of the wrist, I can then grab the tricep, pulling Nikki down to an all fours position. I like to catch my toes on the shin for maximum control and to give me the option of this rolling back attack. 
if we don't want a rolling back attack, no problem, just pull your partner to the side, opening up your hips and putting in that last hook. A favorite of mine is the guillotine, but I'm not going to go into detail with this one because it deserves its own video. Same with the darts. These chokes have a lot of finesse to them and deserve like a 10 minute video. The 2 on 1 grip is a super effective grip. It's very hard for your partner to posture out and break this grip. It's basically the opposite hand placement of an arm drag. We want to scoot forward, rock back, and rotate them as we lift them into the air using our hooks. In Jiu Jitsu, when we want to take someone's back, it's usually only their arm that's stopping us. By controlling their arm like this and getting that rotation, the back take is very effective. The move also looks super cool. If they posture up high and try to retreat, we can always switch to the double leg because they've given us access to their hips. Same with any position from Butterfly Guard. The snap down is a great option from Butterfly Guard, especially if your partner's head is forward of their hips, leaning into you. We want to cup the back of the head as we pull it forward, putting our hand underneath the chin for a chin strap. We have front chokes available as well as back takes if we come all the way around and out. I block Nikki's right arm with my hand so she can't grab my legs and wrestle me as I come around. The main Butterfly Guard entries will be from your partner sitting to their knees in front of you before a guard is established or off the half guard. From half guard knee shield, I scoop my butt out to make space for my butterfly hook, swim in my underhook, and pull my half guard leg out and into a butterfly hook position. Once I do, I execute the sweep just like before. You can also use the belt as a grip, but I don't like it as much because you don't have as many options as the other grips. The loop choke is a go-to from Butterfly. We grip the lapel, pull the head down, and slide our other arm above their head, extending our fingers towards the sky. We need to grip with our legs so they can't try and rotate out of it. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you did, please leave a comment or a fist bump. It helps with the algorithm, makes us happy, and really gives us a lot of motivation to make more videos.